There's two ways to know that it's election season. First way, look at a calendar. Bye. Bye, Daddy. The second way, pick up a newspaper, read the internets, or watch television, and see if the Republicans are ginning up a fake, bigoted controversy. Ah, uh, yes. Fall and election day must be just around the corner because once again, conservatives are frothing at the mouth about Muslims and using 9-11 and ground zero for political purposes. This kind of bigotry wrapped in some mutant form of patriotism from conservative whack jobs is pretty typical. But when supposed anti-discrimination organizations weigh in in favor of discrimination, that's bullshit. Now, spanning the globe, from Sunday talk shows to his Twitter feed, from across the fruited plains to Mars, bitches, it's That's Bullshit with Sam Cedar and Bullshit. And now, Sam Cedar. With midterms a couple of months away, conservatives are screaming that Muslims are slapping America in the face by going to amusement parks and building community centers. The conservative brown people are coming to get us crowd are up in arms over a planned Muslim day at a couple of Six Flags amusement parks across the country. They're outraged that Muslims would have a day at Six Flags because the date of the day is September 12th and the people having the day are Muslims. To hear Fox and right-wing DJs tell the story, this is a plot to secretly celebrate the 9-11 attacks. Of course, these patriots neglect to tell their sheeple that this event has taken place every year since 2000. That the date is chosen based on the end of Ramadan, which this year ends September 10th. That the event was started by a Muslim who was, in fact, a victim himself of the 9-11 attacks. And, of course, that all the participants are American citizens with supposedly the same rights as all of us. But for the right wing, the most important ingredient in this hate pie they're cooking is simply that these folks are Muslim. That's all it takes these days for a conservative to eat it all up. Case in point, the building behind me has been bought to build a Muslim community center, sort of like a YMCA or a Jewish community center with a mosque. Conservatives are frothing at the mouth that someone would build a mosque near Ground Zero. Republicans across the country are raising money off it and actually using it as a campaign issue in their elections. Why can't a Muslim community center be built here? Why? Because it's for Muslims. Get it? Apparently, all those newly minted, strict constructionalist, constitution-worshipping right-wingers have found a new amendment in that constitution they bought from the Heritage Foundation. It says everybody has freedom of religion, except Muslims. These are conservative Milton Friedman lovers who believe the marketplace should be completely unfettered from government intrusion, unless, of course, the purchasers of a building are Muslim. The worst part of this story for me, the most disgusting part, insults me as a Jew. Because the Jewish Anti-Defamation League, whose mission is to, quote, stop the defamation of Jewish people and to secure justice and fair treatment for all, has decided that the best way to secure justice and fair treatment for all is to come out in support of denying fair treatment and justice to Muslims by saying they shouldn't be allowed to build their community center near ground zero. Very classy. Mazel tov. Well, this is what you see when you look across the street from this building. Just how far away from lower Manhattan should Muslims be allowed to build a community center? Conservatives stoking bigoted hatred for political gain? What's new? But an organization supposedly with the mission of fighting bigotry actually promoting bigotry? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit.